So we have um, we have 59 wells planned right now in, in Cold Lake. So that's one of these clastic reservoirs. So fine grain particles, coarse grain particles, sand, shale, uh, some conglomerates. You know where the coarser coarser pebbles. The well hole is about well, the size of my cup. Uh, the information that we get out is a core from the ground. So we drill to a certain point, and then we go in with a special core barrel. We drill and we capture the rock, and bring it back to surface. Mm -hmm. When it comes back to surface, uh, it's we, it, this is gold to us. This is this is our our data set. So it's it's really carefully preserved. It's mm -hmm. frozen. It's transported back to Calgary here to a lab where we where we split it. We cut it in half. We look at the open surface. So what I'm looking for there is um, I'm looking for spots that I'm going to sample for porosity and permeability. We also do what's called the Dean Stark, which measures the saturation. Mm -hmm. So you imagine that it's all these grains of sand. Between them is pore space. And that pore space can be filled with bitumen, or it can be filled with water, or it can be filled with gas. Mm -hmm. What I'm hoping for, and what I'm measuring, is, is bitumen. I want to know how much bitumen is there. Now in that well bore, so the, the rock comes out, it goes to Calgary for sampling. Um, what's left, uh, the hole in the ground, it's still useful information to gather. So I, I have uh, what we call them petrophysical logs, logging tools you'll mm -hmm. hear. Uh, they go on wireline down into the well board. And this is uh, some incredible science, um, the physics of how you can measure the rock. So we take uh, this tool down to the bottom of the well and then we slowly bring it back up. Mm -hmm. And the whole time we're measuring different aspects of the physical properties of the rock in the well bore study. So we're looking at uh, the response of the rock the gamma ray, uh, density, the density of the rock. The, uh, we we just do what we call a neutron log. Um, and all of this information, we look at the resistivity of the rock. And all of that information helps to tell me the same information that I'm also seeing in the core, which is what is the pore space? Um, how much of that pore space is filled with bitumen? Mm -hmm. Where is that water zone? Where are the gas zones? Um, how thick is my cap rock? How consistent is my cap rock? So you imagine uh, I'm looking at a reservoir that well, probably would go all the way, you know, several kilometers away. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. past downtown to the other side of Calgary, and uh, and the information I have is the size of my coffee cup. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to extrapolate, and I, I might have a well about every 400 meters. So from here, probably probably across the river would be my next well. So. There has to be a lot of, uh, I know a lot about this coffee cup, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I have to extrapolate that information across the river um, to the next coffee cup. Mm -hmm. So there, there's a lot of my education, my history, my background, things I've seen, uh, what I know about modern environments, what I know about ancient outcrops, all of that information comes together to really put that whole geologic story together. Mm -hmm. On top of that, and, and really helping that whole sort of tie to my wells is uh, a 3D seismic acquisition.